Chapter 1 Truth. Where did anyone even begin? Sheikh Anwar Nahasir questioned. In a world enamored with lies, the truth seemed as impossible to extract as the rarest sapphire in his Selenese mines. It begins with finding the woman who brought the curse of shame onto his family. Lucy Gaysford. Except she wasn't Lucy Gaysford anymore, he growled, reading the shortened name emblazoned across the gallery window, signaling the solo exhibition by artist Lucy Ford. Anwar wrapped the gold New Zealand merino scarf tighter around his neck, stealing himself to New York's wintry bite as he stood outside the Manhattan Art Gallery and glanced in. Lucy had been economical with the truth before. What other secrets was she now keeping? Why had he come? In pursuit of truth and justice, he told himself, registering the kick of anticipation that trembled through his stomach as he caught a glimpse of his target. His eyes trailed her backless dress, revealing the sensual curve of her spine as she wove through the crowd. A jolt of longing quivered through him. Beauty, that's all, he cursed, forcing forbidden desire to a dull, barely perceivable tremor. Damn it. Why couldn't he shake the longing, the need, the desire? Why couldn't he forget the pain of her betrayal? Family honor came the answer. To find the truth no matter the cost. He clenched his fist, bending his formidable will to his purpose. He would force from her the confession that her escape from his kingdom had evaded. He would silence the uneasy sense that he had been mistaken, that it was his beloved brother who was the cause of so much hurt. But to believe that Hamad, his own flesh and blood, might have lied was untenable. Wasn't it better to accept the deceit of a Westerner, a woman with whom he had a short, passionate fling, rather than yield to the realization that his own family had betrayed his love? He paused before joining the intoxicated crowd inside, liquored up with complimentary drinks designed to addle their minds and open their wallets. He turned and glanced at the snow-lined streets adorned with glitter and baubles for the festive season. Thankfully, the gallery had not gone overboard with tawdry tinsel and garish neon Christmas lights, celebrating the birth of the Christian son his culture did not recognize, but knew instead as God's prophet. As Anwar redirected his attention indoors, he noticed with admiration that both unsettled and pleased him, that the gallery was a shrine to love. Love, he mused, noticing discomfort prickle his skin. What did he know of love? Oh yes, love of the inanimate. That was his refuge. Art, nature, his prized exotic orchids, and Zephyr, his loyal falcon from whom he was rarely parted. These were the loves upon which he could rely. He narrowed his formidable gaze in search of the woman he was here to make atone for the sin of her betrayal. He would extract her confession and then be done with Lucy, whatever her name was, forever.